Hello popcorn junkies, here we are reacting to the trailer for Killers of the Flower Moon. We, or I, reacted to the teaser trailer, this is the Apple TV uh, movie uh, directed by Martin Scorsese, um, based on uh, the book of the same name by David Gran. Um, and this is a uh, the story of members of an Osage tribe or tribe not necessarily Osage County I realize that the exact geography is up for debate given the fact that this was um, you know native land so to speak um, but it's the way in which uh, members of this uh, Osage tribe um, in what was then or maybe is now northeastern Oklahoma um, were murdered under mysterious circumstances now the teaser was incredibly chilling it was incredibly and beautifully shot fabulously edited the music was so sort of you know portentous and dramatic we had this beautiful slow footage of um, sort of you know <clears throat> Native Americans sort of you know dancing almost in a sort of religious religious fashion around uh, an oil strike and oil sort of pumping from the ground um, and then of course it sort of transpires that this is a story about white men um, you know sort of you know taking over the local town taking over the community uh, as they did as Americans white Americans did across all of America and then essentially extracting the assets of land which was never theirs in the first place and you know the weird thing about all of this about conquering land and forefathers and founding fathers and frontiers and all this kind of stuff is is that land I'd have thought prior to white man landing in almost all parts of the planet I don't necessarily think that people thought in such terms as whose land is this I do I own it yes I live there yes I live off it yes it's my home but do I own it? I think the white man is the man who brought this concept to land. And of course, there was that fabulous shot at the end of the teaser, which was saying, was it, who are the wolves in this shot? Who are the wolves in this shot? Was that right? Where, where, where are the wolves? What are the wolves? Um, and so clearly the sort of malevolence and the evil is parked within the white man. In, within this, we've got Leonardo DiCaprio, who I'm guessing occupies an ambivalent position, is perhaps, you know, obviously embedded within the white culture coming into this uh, sort of environment, but also has a connection, I believe, with the uh, Lily Gladstone character, a woman uh, who is of Native American descent and is part of the community. Uh, that loses all of these lives. Robert De Niro is in there, obviously a, a stalwart of Martin Scorsese's films, um, and he's clearly looking like the sort of administrative villain, uh, the gangster, the, the baddie, the, the guy who's pulling the levers and uh, taking the land away. Uh, and then, of course, you've got Jesse Plemons in there, who looks like he's playing the um, uh, sort of a corrupt attorney, I think. Um, and I think there's even that sort of, the, the, there's another element, the, this real-life story in which I believe the origins, if you like, of the FBI are baked into this story, are baked into the investigation that was directed around these murders by the then 29-year-old J. Edgar Hoover. So in a sense, this film also looks at that sort of uh, the origin story, you could argue, of uh, the uh, FBI. Oscar chat uh, for this fourth of uh, for the 2024 Oscars. I think we're already thinking along the lines of could Oppenheimer be in there, you know, the new Christopher Nolan film. But then uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, you know, good opportunity for both, you know, Scorsese and Christopher Nolan. Could Barbie be in there? Could we? Well, there is talk of Barbie, Barbageddon, is it? Barbageddon, Armageddon, Barbie and Oppenheimer coming together and creating a nuclear explosion. Uh, so this is one of the other, those other films that is definitely going to be a contender at the 2024, I was going to say Olympics, but I mean Oscars. You know, you got, you got nice color scheme. What color would you say that is? My color. Good answer. Oh, Sage. They have the worst land possible. But they outsmarted everybody. The land had oil on it. Black gold. Money flows freely here now. I do love that money, sir. <laughs> <laughs> This wealth should come to us. Their time is over. This is going to be another tragedy. When this money started coming, we should have known it came to something else. They're like buzzards circling our people. We're still warriors. I 
to kill these white men who killed my family. I need you here. I am right here. You got to take back control of your home. I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See so what about them? See who's doing it. Expecting a miracle to make all this go away. You know they don't happen anymore. Okay, so a much more kind of uh, storytelling trailer there. I mean, the teaser really gave us an impressionistic sense of things, a sense of mood, a sense of menace, a sense of mystery. Uh, here, clearly, you've got, uh, you know, Leonardo looking good there. You know, he's sort of, you know, he's racist, he's white, he's white privilege, he's all of that stuff. But he's also poor and he wants money. But he's also clearly falls in love with the uh, Lily Gladstone character. I love that line that Lily gives, you know, what's your, what's your colour of your skin? She says, my colour. That's brilliant. So, you know, it's dealing with race. It's, and, you know, this, the, the implications of what this is going to be talking about are going to reach way beyond uh, just this story, if you like, the Osage tribe um, and this, the, 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 you know, the deaths within this community. Um, you know, I love all that kind of, you know, the, the set design, the production design, the, the way in which they've kind of constructed a sort of settlement, an American settlement in this in that sort of you know early era like believable those racing cars the start of the car you know you I, I was feeling that sense of this could have been almost like a, this is almost like a new york prior to skyscrapers and all that kind of malarkey um jesse plemons is always good jesse plemons just has to stand in a doorway looking at you for longer than you want him to and you can feel one of two things either either supreme menace or extreme sympathy for him and uh you know and poignancy almost uh, Brendan Fraser hidden in there, last seen in The Whale, obviously, where he played the morbidly obese character. Um, so Brendan Fraser in there. And, uh, you know, Robert De Niro. I, I've got a funny feeling here. De Niro could be in, just from what I've seen of this, he could be in with a shout for a Best Supporting Actor or something here. That shot, which was also in the teaser of him just walking along, is so just his aged stagger or gait in the way in which he walks is is just priceless. And him obviously sort of, in a sense, grooming the Leonardo DiCaprio character, you know, moving him away from the idea that miracles can happen here. So you've got, you know, obviously we've got that sort of Leonardo DiCaprio is the white man who's kind of, we're on kind of his side because he's obviously in love with Lily Gladstone. And then you've got obviously the, uh, the indigenous Native American tribe um, and their struggle to kind of, in a sense, that one quote where it says, we're still warriors. You know, this idea of not losing their sense of righteousness and fight uh, and, and ownership of what is rightfully theirs. So we're, gonna, we're dealing with race, we're dealing with class. And what I love is, is that you can take something like this, you can park it so far back. We're gonna be dealing with legality, we're gonna be dealing with authority, we're gonna be dealing with the, the origin story, as I say, of the FBI. This is gonna be about America. This is gonna be a difficult film, I'd imagine, for a Trumpian America to get on board with, which could could mean that this won't do particularly well in, in huge swathes of, 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 of America when it's released. But that possibly makes it absolutely tip top and, and gold dust if you like for the oscars so i'm excited about this leo robert de niro lily gladstone looking looking great in there too i'm not au fait with her work elsewhere but you know it looks powerful it looks moody and as i say whilst the first teaser was a very sort of moody kind of you know ooh, churny type thing this is giving you a bit more kind of uh, specifics on what the story is going to be